So I think for me growing up with um, my parents being divorced, I just always wished and wondered what it would be like to have my mom and my dad together and to be able to grow up in that um, and to grow up kind of with the normal that you see um, with everybody else. I drank heavily for years. I used cocaine and lots of prescription pills, marijuana. Um, I tried cocaine the senior, my senior year, and, um, and that's when really when life began to tumble for me. And I uh, went to college the next year, failed out the first semester, and um, that was really the beginning of just like almost a decade long run of just one issue after another and multiple DUIs in my early 20s and in and out of jail and just seemed like one failure after another. I, look, I would look around and think everybody else can have a great life, everybody else can man, have a family, can have a great job, can buy a home, um, but this is just who I was and so there actually came a point in my life when I believed that. I just believed that that was who I was and when you start to believe something like that you embrace it. I was a bartender, I went to work and I made money and I went home and I'd go in my room and I'd, I would use drugs. Um, life just got so terrible and I would be up for days on end and I just remember one day I was out in my backyard and um, it was six o'clock in the morning. I'd been up for several days and it was just like God snapped his finger and in this moment I was able to take a step back and see my life for what it was. And I just remember God just speaking to my spirit and just saying, son, this is not the life that I have for you. I have something so much more for you. And so I went inside and I just sent a message out to my whole family and I just said, I need help. So I entered Team Challenge on February 22nd of 2011 and it was absolutely the best thing that ever happened to me. I remember one day, um, I was just thinking about some stuff from my childhood and, and I got really angry. And in that moment, I realized like, man, I have this really unhealthy ang anger. And um, I went to the altar and, um, and, I, and I went down and prayed and I just said, God, would you, would you please take this anger away from me? And God in that moment just reached down and touched me and just said, son, I'm your father. You can rely on me. You can trust in me. And that anger that I had, that deep-seated anger was just gone because it was just replaced by the love of God. Well, I graduated um, from Riverside Teen Challenge in January of 2012 and I was a single young man and, and I had just always desired to be a husband and to be a father. And, um, and so I just remember I prayed and I just said, you know what, God, I'm gonna wait for the woman that you have for me. Uh, as I made that promise to wait, it was about six or seven weeks later, I was in a worship service and, and God just spoke to me and said, I'm bringing her to you. And uh, I met Missy that night and uh, we were married nine months later. So when our boys came into our life, they absolutely changed uh, everything. <laughs> and um, they are just such a, they are such a joy and um, such a blessing that, that we just get to you know, spend every single day with them. And through all the challenges and, and, and ups and downs, they are the absolute joy of our life. And, and really, it's through my relationship with my sons that I've gotten a greater depth of an understanding for God's love for us. Um, being so empowered knowing that we get to change our family tree and we get to change uh, the future of the Forrest family.